ecosystems have existed since the dawn of time ever since the first plant came out of soil a cycle was created which has been going on forever a cycle a web of organisms consuming organisms every animal bird and insect is connected in some way or the other you take one out the entire ecosystem crumbles about 7 million years ago a species disappeared it revolutionized everything poisoned the water blackened the air acidified the soil and unfortunately the ecosystems changed humans have been hunting and poaching animals for many years now animals are pollinators thousands of plants depend on species to pollinate that brings us to the next big part of ecosystems plants they provide food and oxygen they are huge contributors to the diversity of life we see today now animals and plants aren't the only parts of ecosystems natural factors like the amount of sunlight different tides salinity of the water ice cover and so on also play a major role in the formation of ecosystems as most people know one of the most dangerous threats to the environment and the earth is global warming glaciers uh, which global warming is causing to melt are part of large ocean ecosystems according to recent studies if the melting of the glaciers continues to grow at this rate then many coastal countries would be under water it's not only about coastal cities global warming has been disrupting the habitat of polar bears penguins lemmings and a lot more animals now many of you may be wondering that the earth has nearly billions of animal species how can making one of the species go extinct matter to answer this question let's take an example of the sea anemone which is a simple marine organism it is the primary habitat of every popular clownfish if the anemone disappeared then the clownfishes would be exposed to their predators like eels and sharks if the population of clownfish depletes then the population of eels and sharks would sh- slowly but surely decrease this ruins the entire ecosystem many ecosystems depend on each other this would cause complete chaos on the sea floor humans have changed the whole planet and yet i am sitting in my room under the ac to cool down the globally warmed temperatures typing on my laptop why is it that way more importantly why are books and the internet the only places where sw- city dwelling people get to know about the burning forests and the poisoned atmosphere even if we truly understood the pain of the animals whose homes are being chopped and burnt down what could we do about it we cannot just stop poaching in the african grasslands we can't just stop the logging in brazilian rainforests then what exactly do we do sit here criticizing the government or do we plant a few native trees in the soil near our homes the choice is ours it is these small steps like planting a sapling in our backyard that make a difference now even if a fully grown tree in our backyard cannot suck up all of the greenhouse gases or produce a lot of oxygen but that's a, just a start you can plant another tree maybe you inspired your neighbor to plant one sapling and the good thing is planting saplings is not the only thing you can do there are many non profit ngos that you can donate to these ngos help animal rehabilitation and replantation of trees so even a little donation can help these ngos buy a sapling or to pay for food for an animal a huge achievement for a small price not buying ivory objects may make elephants grateful using paper wisely may help a tree reach an age of 100 years carpooling or using public transport may not only help us breathe fresh air for a few more years but may also keep some fossil fuels to be used by our future generations spreading awareness may help too writing poems and convincing people we know to go environment friendly is great why don't we remember 
with those whom we share the earth and why don't we honor the uh, and value their true worth we can't let our best friends simply vanish without a trace so let's work together and restore their rightful place these lines are from a poem written by martin kisco it tells us about the plants and animals under the threat of extinction due to humans humans have terrorized the planet for a long time so let's stop this let's make this right it is better late than never